Welcome back. This is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about fish oil, in particular DHA. So let's get right into this video. In fish oil, there's a component called DHA. It's called docosohexanoic acid. It's known to help improve cholesterol, improve hypertension, improve cognitive function. More importantly, it's very important for fetal, infant, and childhood development. Okay, So what is DHA? DHA is a omega-3 fatty acid. The other component for this omega-3 fatty acid is EPA. But DHA is essential for structural components of the cell membrane. What that means is that it's very important for your cells to function and the structure of the cells. E DHA is very high in the brain and in the retina. So it's very important for cognitive function, brain development, right? Especially with the eyes too, because it's found in the retina. ALA, found in chia seeds, flaxseed, and walnuts, etc., can convert to DHA. However, the process is slow, it's multi-step, and only about 0.5 to 9% will convert from ALA to DHA. So oftentimes the diet is deficient in ALA as well as deficient in DHA. Sources, salmon farmed 1.24 grams per three ounces. Salmon, wild, 1.22 grams per three ounces. Sardines, 0.74 grams. And mackerel, 0.59 grams. I'll give you a list of other uh, foods that have um, DHA uh, in the description below. But if you look at farm, it actually has a slightly more than wild. And it's likely because of the feed, but farmed uh, fish has its own problems, so I would avoid that. Definitely go with the wild. You can find DHA in alga oil, krill oil, olive oil, or fish oil, you can do. There are different levels of DHA in these uh, different types of sources. Some will have higher levels versus lower levels. So it's important to look at the labeling of each of the oils. So if it says omegas, and it has like 2000 on the label on the front, you have to flip to the back and look at the component of EPA and DHA. So the higher DHA is better for neurodevelopment and cognitive function. So when we look at this, we like to see levels closer to about a thousand to have a therapeutic benefit. A thousand milligrams of DHA to have positive benefits for neurocognitive development, okay? Now studies have been shown for hypertension, lipid profile, Alzheimer's dementia. It also helps improve memory, fetal development, and neurodevelopment. So I'll link the studies below. Some of the studies are really good, some are not, but um, in terms of nutritional studies, it's often difficult to have uh, controlled, double-blind, placebo studies on nutrition. Oftentimes, supplements work as synergists, so if you take one supplement, if you took another, it would improve the outcome. But oftentimes they're doing single nutrient testing and, and some of the uh, limitation with these double blind studies are out there um, in terms of how nutrition will actually work for a individual. Now, there's been some issues with um, small percentages with atrial fibrillation with fish oil. So you wanna talk to your doctor or your cardiologist about it. Um, they are minor uh, in terms of percentage wise, but there it, it is uh, some incidents out there. So, all right. So my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.